I have never made a single song in my life, but today, today that, that will change. change. With the help of Lord Athelstan, a professional music maker who has two hours to make me from a nobody into a somebody. Technically, you'll have three lifelines. Anytime you want, you can just remote take over my PC for one minute. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That sounds great. <laughs> two hours it, starting. Man. Three, two, one. Okay, what do we do? Okay, you're going to want to Alt F4 everything real fast. Yeah. Grab a bottle of whiskey. Start listening to old like Beatles and Pink Floyd. How serious are you right <laughs> now? Because I... If you want to make music, man, this is how you do it. Oh, all right. I'm going to Alt F4. Wait. <laughs> Whatever this is. Man, now, music now is you're a musician. More int intense than I thought. Jesus Christ. Well, now you're a professional musician. That's half the battle. Wait, do you drink every time before making music? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hardly ever drink. God damn it. The first thing you do is if you go up into the top left, you'll see file, edit, and add. Yeah. If you click on add, that's where you're going to add in all of your instruments. You know, let's start, let's, let's start with FL keys. Hit FL keys. These are kind of a meme, but we'll, we'll use them for now. Okay, so now we can either play on this grand piano, or if you see where it says grand piano, three megabytes, yeah. you can hit the arrow and you can change the sound. The Rhodes is usually pretty nice. That's like pretty standard, like lo-fi. Let's go to Rhodes. By the way, Great. are you a pianist? No, not at all. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Now, what type of vibe do you want? Do you want something kind of sad, something melancholy? I'd say upbeats okay. so i use this website called effective musical key characteristics and this gives a very simplistic breakdown of the kind of overall feeling and emotion that each key gives so if you go back to fl studio and you see where it says kick clap hat snare layer fl keys okay i have the piano roll open i usually just start in the middle but i would start around c4 that's just like your your middle of the piano okay this and this would be F sharp major. Yeah, that's right. So you have your F sharp, your A sharp, C sharp. And then if you want to add the seventh, you could do the E sharp. Okay. And then if you want to add the seventh, it, that just means the seventh key that's in that chord. And if you look at the chart, that should be an F or E sharp. Both the same thing. Seventh. That's, oh, all right. Let me play from the start. I think it's decent. You know what you should do? Yo, put 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 the D D sharp back to where it was. Okay. And then take the F up one. And then change that G sharp to up to A. A5? A sharp? The five? A sharp. Yeah, yeah, try that. Okay. Okay, okay. That's much Let's better. Let's go. Hell Let's yeah. Let's go. That's great, man. Now we can do something called voicing, which is we have the basic triads of all of these chords. You want to keep these same notes, but wow. you can put them in the same spot somewhere else. Yeah, try that. Oh, huh. shit. Okay, this Beautiful. sounds... Beautiful. Yeah, this sounds good. Let's do synth. Go to your FL keys in your channel rack, right click and go to replace with and then you can pick any of those synthesizers. Yo, let's go to Citrus. Go to Citrus. Cool. Citrus is really nice. Now what you can do is you can go to the top left of Citrus. There's a little arrow. Yeah. Go to presets and there should be a f ton. They're listed by what types of instruments they are. So you'll see like orchestral, you'll see strings, you'll see choir. This one is all you. You pick whatever sound, go with whatever you think sounds cool. Let's do um, a dreamy pad. All right, let's see what happens. You could copy and paste the chords we have, add in another instance of citrus, and then put the, the orchestra chords on top of that and just use the same chords. That sounds sick as so now let's try and add a bass. The cool thing with bass, just to start, is you just follow the root notes. And what the root note is, is just the first key of the chords you play. That's going to be your general bass line. You can select all those and drop it down an octave. If you want kind of that chuggy bass sound that you'd hear in Synthwave, what you can do is take, take your bar, take your F sharp bar, slide it down so that it only hits on each square. Oh, like this? Yeah. And then repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. Just all over. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh shit, this is deep. <laughs> nice. So you can change all the notes to that like ding 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 ding. All right. Ding. 
Okay. Go back to your channel rack and mute the other two sounds except for your octaver orchestra. Now play the pattern. Okay. Now, do you see the number one on the parametric EQ? Yeah. I would slide it all the way to like the low mid section. Yeah, you can take the reverb on and off, see, see what sounds good. And for the fruits, you'd also want for the bass to be. Yeah, yeah. Try, try and take the bass out real fast, okay. see what it sounds like. Okay, okay, this is, I like this. I like, oh <laughs> shit, this is so fun. That already sounds way better. You can tweak those those EQs as much as you want. Yeah, get crazy. The, the best way to do it is to just raise something all the way up, take it all the way down. Okay, I'm happy with this. You ready to do a, a lead melody? Yes. There's a really cool free plugin on FL Studio called Harmless. This one's sick as f So go to the top left of the arrow and you can go to presets. So you can pick any of those leads. Oh, okay, Neo yeah. Retro. It should be on the very right. Viking GOL. Let's go with that. Now we got to write our lead melody. It is your daunting task to find a melody within those notes. Let's do it. This, this is the fun part, dude. This is where it all... Oh, man. I love this. Do you have any uh, guides on how to write the melody? <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm doing at this point, <laughs> no. man. I just, I just jam. I just jam. Whatever comes into my fingers is what I play. All right, how's this melody coming, man? It's, uh, it's something. <laughs> I mean, you can always take over for a minute. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, what, already? Oh no, that was a minute. Let's do it this way. I wanna make sure that the timing is right. Can you render down this song and send me the MP3? <laughs> Did you finish the song? <laughs> no, 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 oh. far from it, far from okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. You straight up made a melody. So that's just an idea. I mean, we can we can take it any way we want. The next step is drums. I think we should add drums. Okay. Every time you make a new pattern, you have to put it back into the arrangement. Yep, you got it. You got it. That's exactly right. So try that. See how that sounds. Too fast? Too slow? What do you think? It sounds slightly okay. If it's no, that's too fast. Okay. I feel like this is that's pretty cool. Classic synth wave is just to put the clap on the second kick underneath the second kick. Underneath the second, or this, I'm sorry, the snare on the second kick. So you have those two dots. Put it on the second one. Do you usually use all the drums? I'll do a mixture of like snares, claps, kick drums, hi hats, open hats, crashes. Now what's cool is you can do right click uh, where it says the the PMNF hi hat. Right click. Oh, fill each two steps. Ooh. Each two steps. Yeah, try that. Okay. So you could do something like that. This is just like a really basic pattern. But here's an open hat. Oh, okay. Yay! Okay. Go to the top right, and do you see an option that says make unique? It, it, don't, it allows me to click everything else except make unique. Is this just like the, the free trial of FL? How do I know that? Did you pay for it? Uh, oh yeah, it's the trial version, yeah. I've, I've Does, heard that you, you can't save projects on the... Oh no. Oh no. If it, Bruh. Oh, did you close out? <laughs> no way. What the f Why would it do it like that? Yeah, you might be f dude. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck. Shit, I didn't know it was the trial. I should have warned you, man. Because I did oh, send, yeah. send you my like creator thing. We can just adjust the piano roll. Let me you can just put, put yours back in and mine back in and stack them on top of each other and make a new drum pattern. <laughs> We're back where we started from. I can make it unique now. Oh, you can? What oh, hell yeah. Now you can add a little bit of like snare fills, like drum fills or snare fills. Yeah, so try that now. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. This is this is speed run. Copy everything, copy the whole thing. Okay, press control B. Delete all the drums leading up until the ninth bar. Now I sent you two drum symbols. Just drag those directly into this arrangement. Yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, now try that, now try that.
Oh shit, okay, you, you managed to save it. Damn. Yeah. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine with this simple yeah. ending. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, we have one minute. That's fine. That's good. Holy shit, um, man, we did it. Holy <laughs> How did how did we do this in two hours? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I I know how. It's because thanks to you. This is so nostalgic for me. Like not remembering where everything is, <laughs> being confused all the time. Like this this was awesome. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed me collabing with Lord of Felster, go check him out on YouTube. Go check him out on Twitch. Go check me out on Twitch and YouTube. I stream at least three times a week. One thousand likes, and I'll do another collab with Lord of Felston when I'll teach him how 